guys what's going on it's your boy here ryan ride beats how's everybody doing wow what a what a day well those past couple of projects man Woo. anyways we're trying to get back on track guys um we got a what are we doing today oh we're doing this we have this project um one color project we're doing uh women's racerbacks racerbacks I think and I believe they call them Razorbacks because of the um, I can't even get it there we go because of the back this is for a cycling like a soul cycle class uh, where's the design where's the artwork where's the artwork so it's gonna be printed right on the front oh look NorCal representing the peeps uh let's see here we're going to be printing them on that color uh racerbacks and we're going to be using the international coatings um florida pink or is that what's called florida pink or fluorescent pink with all the things going on with especially with the heat press stuff and the uh, vinyl i won't be surprised if something goes wrong but we're gonna get it started today at least burn the screens and let's see where we go Hey guys, so we got the design lined up on the uh, pre-registration template. I'm using a snapback one as a template because of um, because I print my because what I do is I usually double up on the um, um, the transparency because I do print it on a laser at Staples, and I want to make sure it's dark enough for the um, for the screen. But been looking at their prints lately they got a new printer and it's coming out really really dark already so that printer looks like it's printing pretty dark as far as the black goes so I'm gonna test it and see if it works if it works then that means I don't have to double up on my um, transparency sheets so this is just a test so if you guys are wondering that's just a test <laughs> And yes, we're on the floor again. All right, let's go ahead and bring this to the um, uh, exposure unit. Just putting it in the, the ink side of the screen. Got this weight, just put it right on there. One that I have, okay, let's turn this thing on. There it goes. All right guys, look, the single, I guess the single transparency worked out. Huh, so I might not ha need to double up on my um, transparency screens here. That's a dead roach. Yeah, so doesn't look like I need to double up anymore. All right guys, it's getting dark, look. It is, what time is this? 8.30, Woo. 8.30. All right, so while we're waiting for that screen to dry, we're gonna get on Silhouette Studio. We're gonna cut some vinyl here. Here we go again with this vinyl. Uh, we're gonna cut, uh, let's see a black vinyl and we're gonna heat press it onto this it's like a little bag so what I'll do is um, I'll give the shirts to them in in this so you know just a little just a little thank you and I have a bunch of these lying around so might as well use it right, All right let's turn this thing on all right guys let's go ahead and feed the beast let's see how this thing turns out Hey, the auto blade work. Unload it. Looks very promising. All right, look. Not bad. Just a little tedious, but turned out pretty good. We're gonna be using a pillow for this one since it has like 
I mean, it's not even surface that we're gonna be putting this thing on. All right, let's stick this on. There's a pocket here, so we're gonna put it on the, the pocket side. Oh. All right, guys, so this is how it looks. Sorry, the camera died, but. So this is just a, I don't know what size of tote bag this is, but this is a uh, important company. Since this is going to like a cycle, cycling class, I guess. And it's gonna be all women women's shop so then they talk something like this is um pretty cool nice gesture and they'll remember it right and the other thing is free it's just been sitting around the shop for about a year now so better than give it giving them shirts in this or in a box so. all right guys you hear all that buzzing noise the conveyor dryers on uh let's see flash dryers on warming up so what we gotta do is go ahead and set this up. It's already set up, already taped it up. Um, we're gonna do a test break. So let's get a test pull on. Cool. We're gonna be using this uh, fluorescent pink here. Flor I keep calling it Florida pink, but it's fluorescent pink. All right, let's give this a little stir. Always stir your inks and also do the test print, guys. All right, guys, so if you guys didn't know, I do have a 10% discount to NorCal's print supply. If you guys didn't know that already, all that is in the description below. Get your uh, screen print supply. There, here we go. Looks good. Send that to the conveyor dryer. Let's go ahead and load up the shirts. We're gonna do two passes, guys. Two passes. guys that is it we actually printed these on next level next level brand I think the color is called Cancun Cancun and we did the um, the fluorescent pink here man this thing looks good they wanted to stand out first we we're gonna go white but man this fluorescent pink Woo! put them in the bag so they open it they can see it right away got their logo and Put a couple of flyers in there. All right, guys, that's it for today. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this quick little video, again, this kind of shows you. Just take a look at what you guys have lying around in the shop. Um, if you guys have extra shirts or extra hoodies or even extra tote bags, go ahead and use it. Uh, it's a good advertising piece, uh, especially if you're gonna give it to the customer like this one. They'll remember it, and um, make sure you put your cards in it. You know, they'll remember it and they'll give you a call. Okay, so. Um, yeah, it's just a simple one color design, one color print. Actually turned out better than I expected because again, we were gonna go with a white print and then um, we changed it out to a hot pink or a fluorescent pink, which the head looks great. Please check out the links below. If you guys are looking for uh, screen printing supply, check out NorCal screen print supply and um, use that 10% code to get a discount. Yeah, so that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. Peace out.